Mark, good morning. Good morning, Rob. Love that riff right there. Mm. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Mother's Mother's Weekend has begun. Yes. Mother's Weekend. Not Mother's Day. Mother's Weekend. Mother's Let's Weekend. Go. I like that. Let's makes sense. Go. Mother's Weekend. I'm going to be seeing my mom later on today because she works on the weekends. Wow, that's great. Yeah, so I'll spend some time. time with mom. Yep, make sure you spend some time with mom if you're fortunate to have mom in your life and treat her well. Be grateful. Show appreciation. Show Absolutely. gratitude, right? As opposed to father's morning, right? Father's morning is fine. It's great. It's all we need. Yep. It's a quick morning. And then we're off to Stellwagen for the JDRE event for oh. juvenile di- diabetes. Yeah. Okay, so that's coming up. In- coming up, yes, on Father's Day at Stellwagen in the afternoon. We're going to be um, celebrating and raising funds for juvenile diabetes. Our team is putting that together for the June awareness mission for Charity 365. So very excited about that. Oh, that's good. Led by our contributor, Bridget. Bridget is getting super involved and If you're on any of our social media, you will see it for sure because we are making sure people are aware of it. But, yeah, Stellwagen, we're going to have a band. It's going to be great. I'll talk more about it as as we get closer. But Father's Morning, Mother's Weekend. Let's go, folks. Let's take care of the moms. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you get something special for mom for Mother's Weekend. Mother's Weekend. So that's one of the things that we're feeling good about. And let's see, what else also? You've got a couple of things here on the list you wanted couple to talk things. about. Yeah. Let's, let's start It's a busy time boxes. of year, isn't yes, it? <laughs> yes, it's spring. It's active. Things are happening. Yeah. Uh, but the Dr. Joe show last night was uh, eye-opening. It was fascinating. We had a, a futurist, if you will, um, who came on the show and spoke about the future of life. The future of life. Pretty heavy topic when you're talking about artificial intelligence. So he was... Uh, sharing with us his research around the ethics of AI and the open letter signed by this group calling themselves the future of life about holding, putting a pause on the research so that we could get some regulations, some guardrails around the future of AI. So really interesting topic. It'll be a podcast next week. So I encourage everybody. I think, do we post our Dr. Joe shows on the WATD website? I don't know if we do. Uh, if not, you should. We uh, should. Talk to Ed. Is, yeah. Ed, do you hear us, Ed? There you is put, a, uh, definitely put this one on. This is, uh, this is fascinating. But, folks, you can also find it on Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Stitcher, anywhere you would consume podcast uh, and it will drop next week Thomas will be dropping it next week he always drops the oh, episode yeah. there is there, there is a, a link, link to later. your podcast yeah cool. 95.9 WATD.com slash podcasts and you can get all the podcasts including the Dr. Joe which is right in the top row there nice the Dr. top Joe billing show. yep so top billing he's uh, actually right to the left of my photo so there you go look at that I'm, get, I'm right next to Dr. Joe in the lineup how, yeah how cool is that so cool yeah, so Hall that, of Famers right there next to each other. Yeah, well, so this really is. I mean, that's like big topics to get into. This is the kind of stuff that you know we we you know that's fascinating, but we don't spend a lot of time usually going in depth on these issues. Well, people don't want to, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, because there's fear. I mean, a lot of these big issues, as you talked about, what well, there's not a lot of in between. It can either go yeah. one way or the other. I mean, our guest was talking. It was it was biblical almost, right? There yeah. was. There's one path, right, of the sci-fi Terminator dystopia, as they say, right? So, you know, we're enslaved by the machine, and they they take over, and we end civilization, right? Yep. Hell. Yep. (laughs) And then there's utopia, where we it benefits the human race, and AI is used only for good, and uh, only enhances our life and our attitudes and our personalities and our longevity and our ability to be healthy and it's utopia right heaven right so it was really interesting having this conversation with this young researcher but i i I encourage people to listen to it you know learn about these all these wonderful buzzwords that are going around sentient right that's when the machine becomes conscience right yeah and that yeah i mean that what is i have no idea what how it could even be when that happens (sighs) Or can, can it? I mean, I guess it's just... Well, a, it's the machine learning component yeah. of it, right? Yeah. So as the machine learns, could it get to that point? You know, there's some great movies about it, and it's, it's no, really interesting. No, because will the machine understand life? Will it understand what we are and, and the things that we need? And, you know, we're not perfect. Right. Well, in theory, it will only understand what we feed it, yeah. right? But 
there is the conversation of it becoming sentient, where it interpretation becomes aware, yeah, what? and it becomes it, it becomes able to make these decisions, yeah, on and its own without the help of a human so really interesting and then the the singularity that's another one that you know has been thr- thrown around and people are wondering what what that means and that's when they become smarter than us right okay. at what point does the machine become smarter than the human and um really interesting i encourage <laughs> folks to listen to it it it's got crazy. really deep but i also encourage people to embrace the positives of it Right. Okay. You know, this chat GPT has really raised the alarms for people and people are freaking out. Yes. Right. We're not going to write essays anymore. You know. Well, yeah. No, there was people saying they could use a GPT to write their wedding vows or to write great poetry or um, I mean, I'm, there are things where the, the busy work. That would be a good thing for people were saying it can write newsletters and that kind of thing. Like, why would you have a person do that if they could do more? creative work well that's exactly it and the fear mongers say well it's going to take people it's going to make people unemployable right because it's going to take their job from them like artificial um intelligence has uh, the self-automated cars right the cars are driving so what happens to all those yeah those drivers. truck drivers and those cab drivers and you know all those people who get to sit in the car commuting to boston right let's look at that kind of yeah. side of it but maybe there's something more purposeful that those people can do now that they aren't driving right as opposed to hmm. oh no woe is me i'm going to shrivel up and be useless mm-hmm. you know then they enter into a another vocation that is more purposeful for them maybe it's a it's a net positive for people but there will be bad actors in this well yeah i mean the 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 part about an automated uh disc jockey or a radio host i again my my feeling is you know if we're here to entertain and inform humans you really should just have a human doing it where we would be most qualified to talk with each other i would think but you know the other the other parts you know i know they're going to have a drive through where the drive through will be all AI and you'll just talk and tell the order and the that computer will try to interpret what you're saying. Well, apparently there's a McDonald's. I don't know yeah. this for a fact, but apparently there's a McDonald's in Texas that yeah. doesn't have a human employee in it. Really? That's what I heard. I and if it's on the internet, it's definitely true. Oh my god. But gosh. to your DJ, I agree with you. Um I would think for that part, just like writing a good story or a script, they were saying, you know, and that's, I guess, what some of the writers are striking about. AI is in the, you've heard that, Mark. I have. um, You know, they're saying, you know, should a person still creatively write the script? So it's really interesting, right? Because it's evolutionary, right? Spotify is doing it, by the way. I have the Spotify AI and it knows what I like. And it says, hey, Mark, here's a new song that you haven't heard in a while. It's from the 80s. Mm-hmm. When you were in high school, and here it is. It's it pretty a, good. And it's decent, but you know, <laughs> it's not Rob. It's not with the local. You're not going to yeah. get real time local. They're not there yet. No. Right? They're no. building towards no, that, though. Of course they are. They're, they're, the, this is so crazy because it's all people that are creating these things. Yes, and it's what we're putting into it. So, you know, fear the bad actors, right? Yeah. Embrace those altruistic folks who are looking at this as truly uh advancement in humanity right for the species for us by us really truly is what it is and but but there are there will be bad actors and and one of the things i did want to point out to people um Mm -hmm. is some of the scams that are happening because of ai now open ai sam altman uh elon musk had started it it was a not-for-profit company to kind of understand ai and machine learning and, and then it became a profiteering um, a, a for-profit company, and Elon left, but they've since, you know, sold some of it to Microsoft. Microsoft being really far away in advance on this AI stuff because of the partnership with OpenAI and ChatGPT. But <clears throat> there are bad actors out there, and this is open to the public, right? So they're sharing their data. They're sharing their data points. They're sharing all of their research and it allows people to manipulate it, right? So one of the things I'm hearing, and I received a, uh, a, a newsletter, mm-hmm. probably written by AI, maybe, um, that talked about these phone calls people are getting. Hmm. So 
for those who are answering numbers that they don't recognize, you know, be aware that this could be a scam, right? So, A, don't answer it. Yeah. B, what they're doing, Ra, which is I wish they could use their creative intelligence to do good, but they're taking voice clips from individuals. So maybe your grandson is on Instagram with a lot of videos and they've, there's oh a lot gosh. of talking and, yep. and voice and they've been able to create that voice. So then the call is, Grandma, Grandma, I'm in trouble. Can you wire some money to me? So be vigilant, super vigilant. Talk to your family. Talk to your in-laws, your parents, your grandparents. and Because it, it, those scams are the ones <laughs> that are so hurtful because they're embarrassed so they don't say anything yeah and then it could be ongoing so that you know it's they're tapped into the bank account and they don't know how to stop it so you know have those open dialogues that we always encourage open communication open dialogues and and let them know like hey if this number if this is a number that's you don't recognize hang up you know call us figure out is johnny even in europe right Mm -hmm. (laughs) because that's that's the uh the trick that they play and it's it's awful and if they could use their intelligence for good they'd probably have a nice oh, yeah. fulfilling yeah. life you got to watch out definitely for scams that try to play on people's emotions mm. so that's going to be a sad thing and uh, um right now you know for the most part uh we've had humans doing the scamming but uh, maybe artificial intelligence will be used for for that at some point my 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 but with uh, humans to, yeah, with humans it, doing right? it, i know the one of the things is where for me i get these recordings uh, you've had them as well where they they told the person and it's it's a, it's a person reading a script i can tell uh, but they they are told to use ahs and ums to make it sound like they're leaving you a real message and it comes off so fake they yeah. should just get somebody out of the drama department um, well, now Rob, they're going to get it out of the computer, I'm though. sorry I missed you. Um, I tried to reach you, and I have some important money about money, so um, why don't you <laughs> give me a call back? And it's like they're putting in the ahs and ums to make it sound real, I guess. I, so, I, it was crazy. I saved one of them. It's, it's, I find it humorous. But, it, it is, but with AI, the whole theme is is yeah. that they're going to get better at that, oh, right? Yeah. So we're creating advancements. The calculator was an advancement in math. It was able to spring Mm -hmm. us forward a lot faster than we would have if we were still dealing with the slide ruler, right? Yeah. Chat GPT will do the same thing. It'll be, give me this paper on sports in the Elizabethan period, right? And it'll spit it out, but it's a start, right? It's only a start, similar to the calculator, right? It Um, it begins the process from there. Oh, what was the other, the other thing where I was hearing where it's going to try to uh, recreate voices. So eventually, will you, will you be fooled and think you're actually, I mean, say it could do like they were saying, like Tom Brady's voice or something like that. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So so what if it does, is your, if it is your relative's voice, will you know? I mean, I guess you'll have to have like these little uh, questions in your mind, you know, uh, you know, to give the person a test question. Well, what's my favorite? Well, they might know the answer. (laughs) I don't know. Right. Because they've they've scrubbed their social media footprints so thoroughly that they would know the answer to that. So I think it's almost, you know, you have to have a direct line of communication with your family to be able to quickly say, hey, is this Johnny? Because this message sounds like Johnny. Wow. You know, and what's you know, can we openly talk about the fact that Johnny's in in jail? And needs grandma to bail him out. Yeah. By wiring to this bank account in Ooh, Russia. Boy. Well, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, <laughs> that's, that's some stuff, but uh, some crazy stuff. But uh, listen to the uh, the podcast, right? Absolutely. And folks who are oh. uh, involved in the theater this weekend, yes, break a leg. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be supporting our local theater tonight. Going to the um, the spring show at Marshfield High School, Mama Mia. Looking oh, wow. forward to it. Don't have any uh, family participants, but supporting our local theater. It's so fun to watch that hard work pay off, right? They worked so hard leading up to this, and then they execute and do the wonderful presentation, and then the bows and the oxytocin flowing and the standing ovations. It's such a beautiful thing. So break a leg out there, everybody. All right. Good stuff. 